Hello YouTube, back with Aline with a Korean beauty haul. I did some shopping back from my trip to Seoul, South Korea, so I wanted to do a small beauty haul. I hope you like it, so let's get started. First, let's open the suitcase. I just put everything inside and now I will take out everything so that we have more space. The first bundle is from Innisfree. This is a sort of makeup pouch or case. They did a special promotion back there. This pouch with it contents was the same price as buying a green tea serum itself, so it was really a good deal. The pouch is from a cotton fabric with green lining and a zipper. It actually has two more colors, blue and yellow. So inside we got three items. First one is a 160ml green tea seed serum. They also changed the packaging colors. The second item as gift is a 5-minute green tea leaf powder face mask. I got four powder masks inside, so let's open one to check because I'm quite curious how's inside. Alright, so it is indeed powder which needs to add some water and stir with a brush, then apply it to the face and rinse it after 5 minutes. The next item is a piece of clothes with cute illustration, less plastic is fantastic, totally agree with this one. I'm not sure what to do with this coat. Do you have perhaps any idea? Let me know in the comment. I also bought a 400ml green tea balancing skin EX toner. It's not that liquid, almost like a gel and it smells nice. Next item are aloe vera soothing gel from Natural Republic. I bought three because it was on promotion and they really smell nice and each of them is a pot of 300ml. The texture is a compact jelly, really cool, soothing and smells good. Then I bought a facial foam from Senka. It comes with a small tube of collagen cleanser, perfect whip, I really love these products. They are really foaming, soft and smell good. I know that this is a Japanese brand but still, since I bought it in Seoul. The next one is sheet mask. First mask is Natural Republic Akai Berry. Akai Berry extract is known for moisturizing and improving fine lines on the skin. Then I got aloe vera sheet mask from Natural Republic. Aloe vera extract suits irritated skin and makes your skin smooth. Still from Natural Republic, I also got avocado sheet mask, which is good to hydrate and moisturize the skin. Another mask from Labelage Natural Mask, aloe vera, and then pomegranate mask to maintain firmness by preventing aging. Moisturize as well. Then aqua mask to increase elasticity of the skin and apparently this mask contains seawater ingredient which helps to soothe the skin keratin and moist the skin. Q10 mask helps to promote healthy skin, give nutrition and vitality to the skin, elasticity as well. Then from Medihill I bought the upgrade EX Aquaring Ampoule Mask. This mask has the pressed logo Medihel on it, and it also helps to moisturize the skin. The next is a tea tree care solution essential mask, Silky Cellulose Mask Sheet. Lastly, a Zero Shoot Farm Mask, which believes to soothe oily, irritated and sensitive skin. Move to our next product from Saem, which is a pack of two sunscreen. It was a buy one get one free offer. It is a SPF 50 light sun cream. The tube looks like this. And sorry, but I won't open it because I still have sunscreen left at home. Then the next item is a compact foundation from Clio from Kill Cover Collection. 
It comes with a refill and the lid is from a matte plastic soft material. I tested the shade before at the shop and then with the staff and my sister help, I chose this shade number 5 by Y. Again from Clio, which I already used, so I threw the box already. It is a liquid foundation from Nudism Collection. It comes with a free brush. And I think that the shade is too fair for my skin, like one tone brighter. I also bought the liquid eyeshadow from Echo Soul. RD01 Sparkling Eye Shade, which I quite love, and normally I apply it underneath my eyes. Next product is a nice shadow palette from Kenmake, and I know that Kenmake is also a Japanese brand. Anyway, let's check it out. This is the palette number 3, and they are all matte. I bought this to have a handy eyeshadow palette for traveling and the colors are also easy to use. A creamy glow blush from Veli Veli, shade Nudie Mood, which is peach orange. I really really love the color. The next item is from 3CE Steinlanda, which sadly was a pretty eyeshadow, but I broke it into pieces because I was careless. <sighs> so sad. Another eyeshadow palette from Etude House. To compare with Can Make, they almost look alike, but they are different. The Etude House one has four colors with one metallic effect, and it doesn't come with the applicator brushes. Then I got this cute blur powder from my friend Onyong as a gift. Kamsamida Nyong, so cute with the little bunny Miffy. So it is actually a soft blur powder, which is very handy to fix and retouch the makeup during the day. From Daiso, I also bought these eyelashes. My sister recommended me this, so I'll try it when I got the occasion because honestly, I rarely put eyelashes. Blemish Care Cover from Next Care. It is to cover but also to dry pimples and it has 12 patches inside. Still from Daiso, a brown liner. Still not sure if it is for brown or eyeliner, but here is the effect. It's quite creamy. A blackhead remover, but I really doubt its quality. And then some cute bandages from Peko, which is really cute, and also from Cacao Friends. From Peripera, I bought this lip tint Airy Velvet number no. 2, which is color quite orangey, and it smells really sweet, and it's still there even after I rub it. I also bought Airy Velvet number no. 4 and Ink Lacquer number no. 5. The number 4 is more a peach coral color, whereas the Ink Lacquer number no. 5 is more like cherry red. We also got a gift from Peripera because I combined the purchase with my sister shopping. So inside the fridge, we got small samples like Ink Cheek, very soft and subtle, Ink Multi, and then some other vivid tint water. They were originally white, but I pasted the sticker on them and they are so freaking cute. I also got this freebies, a hand and nail cream from Healing Bird and a deep cleansing foam from Etude House. And this close up our beauty haul. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think. And if you like the video, please thumbs up and share. See you on my next video. Bye!